It's just plain fun to Good. meet them backstage at the TV Land Awards. And I have to say, the women themselves are just as irresistible as the characters they play. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. It was the show that brought us the good. Judy! And the bad. We are in trouble. And delivered it in a way that made us laugh. Oh! Blair, Joe, Natalie, and Judy. Under the watchful eye of house mother Mrs. Garrett, who scolded hugged and inspired them throughout their adolescence, on screen and off. So Sunday was a night as big as the first co-ed school dance, all together again for the very first time ever at the TV Land Awards. What a great opportunity to say thank you. Thank you so much for being so kind for so long. As adults, they do seem unscathed, as though they escape the child star curse, something soon to be 85-year-old Charlotte Ray, who played the lovable Mrs. G, tried to point out. I'm so proud of my girls. They all turned out to be straight, straight. Meeting them backstage. Hi, I'm Cynthia McCann. Nice to meet you. Hi. I wanted to make sure I understood precisely what Mrs. G was going for. When you got up there tonight and said, my girls have all turned out, we're all so straight, what did you mean? Well, I meant that with good parenting <laughs> and... Because I think some people in the audience didn't take it the right way. You meant that they, were, they all turned out to be the great. I was path. thinking of a tree that grows up straight to the sky. Gotcha. Like that. Okay. That's what I meant. Okay. What did you think? Well, uh, that's what I thought, but <laughs> some of the gay. people who followed after you. Oh, right? God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. one, one cast said we didn't turn out so straight like those facts of life people. <laughs> <laughs> Being together seemed to bring out the devil in all of them. If you hit me with that, I'm going to lay you out. That's all. <laughs> Just like in the old days. Kim Fields was the youngest in the cast. She was nine and roller skated through the first season. The roller skates um, got me the job. I was small for my age, and so they put me on roller skates to make me <laughs> taller. I'm grateful to the wheel. I, would you, I, <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go down memory lane for a moment. I mean, the, the first episode of season two, when Joe arrives in the motorcycle delivery outfit. Uh, delivery boys usually use the rear entrance. Delivery boy. A lot of the dynamic of the broadcast was about the two of you, though, right? I mean, and, and the sort of yin and yang of the two of the two it, it of you. It was a component. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was a it was a central component. It was really central. <laughs> I was really surprised to find out the two of you became friends and lived together as roommates afterwards. Right? <laughs> We've always been friends. I I mean, you know, we it was just it, we, we were just acting. acting. It was the characters, you know. <laughs> there were some bumps along the way. It was hard enough to grow up, but growing up on television, especially when your cast is the perfect pretty girl. I haven't been dateless since 1979. And you gain weight was even harder. At first, though, they actually sent you away to a, a, a sort of weight loss camp. A fat farm, yes. Three of them? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did it hurt? Oh, yes. Of course it hurt. Yes, it did. It did at the time. Yeah. The fat farms didn't work. She didn't lose weight. But producers made a good call to just let all the girls be themselves. I'm so grateful it turned out the way it did, that I looked like a normal teenage girl, that we looked like normal teenage girls, that you didn't have to be a size two. That wasn't the only way the show was unique. Well, it was a really radical thing to have all the lead characters be female. I mean, in the day, this was not done, right? I mean, it was radical in a few different areas as, you know, the person of color uh, to be on the show and to be treated as an equal, to be treated, you know, the same across the board. Um, it was astounding. You know? And I have to say, as, as Natalie, you know, being overweight, what people come up to me and say is it was so amazing to see an overweight character that wasn't a joke. May I help you? I'm looking for Blair Warner. Another breakthrough. It was the first television series ever to have a regular cast member with a disability. It says I don't have cerebral palsy, I'm drunk. <laughs> Blair's cousin Jerry, played by comedian Jerry Jewell. I gotta tell you something funny about that t-shirt. That t-shirt that I made, I didn't know how to spell cerebral palsy. <laughs> I 
didn't learn how to spell it until I did Facts of Life. <laughs> the highest rated of all 209 episodes was when one of the Hi, girls man. lost her virginity. Hi. It was a storyline originally meant for Blair until Lisa Welchel refused. You decided to do it. And I decided to do it because, please, somebody's got to do something at this point. <laughs> and let it be me. It would be spread over the course of uh, four episodes. So while they did learn plenty from their long-running show, they didn't get rich doing it. We, we got paid, and you. then we had residuals, <laughs> but then it faded away. So I'm interested, though, because lots of people at home think that when you're on a sitcom, you're making a million dollars an episode. Well, I am. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is Oscar winner Cloris Leachman, who took over from Charlotte Ray for the last two seasons. We don't exist in the time of, of now when you do have million dollar plus salaries per cast member per show. Um, but I think the important thing for us was not just the financial blessing that it was, but also in so many of the other areas. And it is those blessings that they're celebrating by coming together lifelong friendships and admiration, especially for their beloved house mother. To be led by our most gracious and amazing fearless leader, the very amazing star of our show, Charlotte Ray, was just extraordinary. And we love you, Charlotte. Taking a chance on love. Understand that you have a birthday at the end oh, of this yes. month. I know everyone here wants to join me in wishing you yes. a very happy birthday. Oh, so yes. we have a birthday oh, cake. Oh. Instead of singing happy birthday, <laughs> would you indulge me? No. Can we do no. it? You take the good, good you take, take the, the bad, bad, you take them both. Oh, come on, you can do better than that one. Come on, we can do this for cake. You can do it for cake. <laughs> You take, take the good, you, you take, take the bad, you take the bad, and then, then you have the facts of life. Do, 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 do. The, the facts, facts of life. life. There's a time you gotta go and show you grow, and now you know about the facts of life. The facts of life. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah, I've had that song in my head all weekend, Robin. <clears throat> These are really nice women. It was really like hanging out with girlfriends. They do not disappoint. I had a ball. You should see the message that we're getting from people who remember the show and they really relate to all the characters in, in one way or the other. And then we got some tweets about George Clooney. Remember yeah, when yeah, he was yeah. on the, on the program? Two, two seasons. And, yeah. and, and actually, um, I had a picture of George Clooney. We had to cut it out for time. But I had a oh. picture of George Clooney that we brought out and awarded the, the person who got the most trivia questions right. It was lots of fun. Oh, I can imagine. Well, that whole night, TV Land, you know, having the having the show like that. Then the Cosby Show, I think they got an Impact Award. They did indeed, and we, we hung out backstage with uh, Bill Cosby. You had a great time. See, you got to come back from vacation, uh, girlfriend. Well, uh, <laughs> <that's okay. laughs> vacation. I am having so much fun. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Cynthia. You can go to our website for behind-the-scenes video of our GMA reunion, and to see more of the Facts of Life cast, watch the TV Land Awards next Sunday, April 17th.